carbonara. I must try that someone. Okay, and... Don't know what I suggested there, but don't do that. In fact... Right. Invite over. Let's get to know you a little better, shall we? Mm. It's worth pointing out that uh, Damien of the story is actually bisexual, so... Uh, uh, we might have some interesting adventures with this guy. What state are you in? Okay, you are really hungry. So why don't you grab a bowl? And how are you? Okay. To do the need go poo poo. And then somebody needs to spend a little bit of time with you by the looks of it. <laughs> wow, Malta. <laughs> It's not a bad idea, actually. Right, and... Tallulah Grabina just used a potty chair. <clears throat> Cower before us. Okay, you put that away. And you... Gussy up a little bit. Uh, I don't actually want you to get involved with... Uh, I don't actually want Ellen to get involved with Tallulah socially until Tallulah's at least a teenager. Because she is not the sort of person to do that. So I think what I would do is let's get you to clean up a little bit. So that's clean. Does anything else need cleaning? Oh, that definitely needs cleaning. Unclock it. And then flush it. So that'll do. And in the meantime, Damien will become the blue person of love. Where's your date? I think she might have been scared off already. Next spirits? Yep, you can do that. Right, let's call her over again. Invite over. And that might be her in a taxi now, thinking about it. No, it wasn't. Right, actually try to do it this time. Right, and while you're waiting, why don't you have a little play with your daughter? Tickle and snuggle and... Attack with a claw and toss in air. <laughs> yes. I mean, that, that's, that's actually adding a, 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 a huge level of horror. I think there's a fairly good chance you're right that she's absent-minded or she had to go to work or something. Oh, is who's this? Pinyin. Now, does that look like someone that Damien would want to get to know? Does she have a pulse? It's not necessary, but mm, it helps. I don't think she's turning up. Yes, she probably is absent-minded, in which case we are giving up on her. Fake passing out. Interesting. Why can't I talk with you? All right, never mind. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, 
Why can't I talk with her? Taught her to talk? That's odd. Never mind. Okay. Don't worry about it. I think... Right, what state are you in? Okay, let's give you some food and then it's time to put you to bed. Been on floor. And... In the meantime, Damien, let's work on the next girl on the list. Somebody considered that to be memorable. Let's get that clean. Yep, we can clean it now. Excellent. And then what state are you in? You need a shower. And let's actually work you. You're working on your charisma a little bit. And Damien. Somebody needs to be put to bed. Ellen Grabner got out a wrench and hammer and repaired a toilet. Well, I've got to be honest with you, if you can repair a wrench, uh, a toilet with a wrench and hammer, you are a better person than I am. Well, I mean, there's two ways of looking at this. I mean, the first one is that Damien's date perhaps had, oh, was absent-minded or needed to go to work or something like that. The other one is... Damien's date actually got some good advice. And how is he getting on charming her? Not very well. But I'm sure they'll get there eventually. And actually, before we finish this, let's get these rooms redecorated a little bit because we've got some money now. Get the walls up, get the lights on. Let's set it to daytime. There you go. That looks a bit redder. And right, so get a bit of this wall. We'll spread that out over there. So at least the room doesn't look undecorated anymore. And wondering what I should get next. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's entirely possible that. Um, it's entirely possible that uh, Ellen decided to take pity on the person, and I think looking at this place, what I want to do here is I actually want to spend a little bit of money making it larger. I want to put a wall across here, just make it a bit more cuboid, and that will give us much more space to play with. And get rid of this awful tree as well. So let's do that. Like that, and we shall move this wall, I think. There works for me. And that actually gives us the chance to uh, make these rooms a little bit more even. And how much money have we got? We've got plenty of money. Let's take this wall out one or two at the back, I think. So we shall actually let's just do this wall, I think. Let's just do this wall. Like that. And yes, okay, it's worth pointing out that I get into building mode, whatever I'm doing. I do apologize. Let's get some of this in. Yeah, that's one of the reasons that we need to make the kitchen a bit bigger. And... Well, actually, we need to make everything a bit bigger, to be honest with you. Get rid of this wall here. 
Let's spread the redecoration out. Like that, and also, I know Ellen is a bit of a, a rural person, but I don't think she's going to have grass cut a carpet. Right, let's see if the roof is all right. I'd say the answer to that is no, not really. Let's sort the roof out. Lost track of the number of times playing this game when I've I've been you know, sort of three weeks into it and I suddenly realised that the roof is totally messed up. Uh, we want a gable roof, I think. That will do nicely. Yep. Uh, I think that looks better. I don't particularly like the look of that uh, checkerboard pattern, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And then, a little bit more roof. Look at that. How should we do this? Well, the simple answer is we do that. Doesn't necessarily look that bad, I think. Oh, what else can we do? Do a flat roof. Mm. No, let's leave it as this. Let's leave it as this. Okay, so all the walls up and decorated as they should be. Yep, absolutely. We still have lots and lots of money, so let's start getting some bits and pieces in here. We need some kitchen counters and we need um some tables and chairs perhaps a rug down here and if we have enough money we'll put some curtains up so let's get some of this stuff sorted so first of all we'll have a few of these like that put the kitchen uh the fridge at the end there Go. That gives us a, a bit of a working area. That's unfortunately eaten a bit of our money, but I think we can still get a table and chairs out of this. Then we'll have a dining table. Don't want a patio table on that. That looks horrible. I think we'll have to have one of the circular ones. Nope, not that one. That one! And not that colour. All oh, are horrible. So, okay, let's just grab a chair, a uh, table like that, and then let's recolour the thing. In fact, let's not recolour the thing. Let's get some chairs and recolour them like the chairs. Where's the chair? Dining chairs. Does that work? No. It's garden chairs. Those work. Okay, let's do that. Just need two for now. Let's take that colouring. Put it on here and see how horrible that looks. And yes, let's be honest here, that does indeed look pretty horrible. Right, let's get that color on everything.
like that, and this one needs to change. Uh, I wonder. Oh, that thing, that that pattern is underlying on it, is it? Okay, that really annoys me when they do that. So we're going to want a darker thing. No, let's try a plainer one. Uh, let's go with that. I will replace that table later on, but uh, I think that will do for now. Okay. So we have 235. I was going to ask if anyone thought we need anything else, but we don't have the money for it anyway. So that will have to do for now, I think. So that's a nicer place. Run out a bit of uh, the front garden, but quite frankly, I didn't particularly like that front garden anyway. And it gives it a bit more space inside. Oh, actually, one thing they do need is a light. Let's spend a bit of our leftover money getting a light. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's. Yeah, the house is looking a bit more livable. Okay. So, Damien, you're about to drop. You're about to drop like the dead. So why don't you go to sleep? And Ellen. Yes, you're pretty exhausted as well, but you were doing something that was giving you fun. Hmm. I, I, I confess I have a, a slight problem with the thought of Ellen having fun, but... Uh, Actually, while we're thinking about it, what's your working hours like? So it's still 1pm to 6pm, and you are working tomorrow. Okay. Whoa! Watch out for charge creepers, guys. Alright, okay. All right, what state are you in? You are really tired, so why don't you go to bed? You go to sleep and dream of William. Here we go. All right. And how is our little darling? Oh, she's in pretty good shape. Okay, right. Let's speed things up overnight. Okay, so right, we've got plenty of space to work in now. A little bit of money coming in and if Damien can ever be bothered to work. A fair amount of money coming in. Tallulah is aging up nicely. And that lightning almost woke me up. You're absolutely right. So I think we're going to get Tallulah to grow up well. Damien will never grow up. And Ellen has grown up pretty well already. So we're doing good. And Ellen's lifetime wishes to become leader of the free world. Damien's personality, unfortunately, I think is going to get in the way of his lifetime wish. And I wonder if there's a lifetime wish for owning all the tiaras in the universe. We'll have to find something suitably whacked for Tallulah, I think. Oh, right. All looking pretty good at the moment. Leisure day. And help we had a pool to throw the pool party in. That, that, forget all that. Okay, so... Mm, somebody's going to need sorting out in a little bit. And Daddy Damien's going to have to do it. And Auntie Ellen is not going to do a damn thing about it if she can avoid it. Okay, so... Let's start getting people organised, right? You're almost awake anyway, so let's have some breakfast made. Serve breakfast. Pancakes. And when you're done, you can sort out uh, 
Tallulah and Ellen, when you're done, you've slept up a little bit more, you can have some pancakes for breakfast.